Hello kids! I am Teacher Roan, your English 2 teacher. Come and let's learn English together! Before we start our lesson for the day, let's set some virtual class rules. Number 1, focus on the video. Number 2, listen attentively. And number 3, participate actively. Use the comment box if it is needed. Hello kids! How are you today? I hope you are doing well. Are you excited to learn something new? Great! Our objective, identify important details in expository texts. Listen to. Let's begin kids! Before we start our lesson, let's try to answer this activity. Identify whether the sentence is fact or bluff. So you are going to answer fact if the sentence is true or real. Bluff if it is false or made up. Are you ready? Let's have the first sentence. Honorable Rex Gachalian is the mayor of Valenzuela City. Is it a fact or a bluff? Comment now your answer. And the correct answer is fact. If this is your answer, you are right. Number two, Philippines is part of Southeast Asia. Hmm, is it a fact or a bluff? Comment now your answer. And the correct answer is fact because Philippines is one of the countries found in Southeast Asia. If this is your answer, you are correct. Number three, rose is the national flower of our country. Is it a fact or a bluff? Comment now your answer. And the answer is bluff because our national flower is Sampaguita, not rose. Number four, Earth is the third planet from the sun. Is it a fact or a bluff? Type now your answer in the comment box. And the correct answer is fact. Earth is the third planet from the sun. If this is your answer, you are correct. And number five, plants are non-living things. Is it a fact or a bluff? Comment now your answer. And the correct answer is bluff because plants are living things. They grow, they eat, and they reproduce like humans and animals. So, this is a bluff. How many correct answers did you get in our first activity? 
today we are going to learn how to identify important details from expository texts. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Expository texts are informative texts that explain something to the readers. They give facts and information about a specific topic. The author's purpose is to inform, describe, or explain his or her topic. Expository texts are informational texts that provide facts and serves certain purpose such as to define an idea, tell the cause and effect of a problem, or compare ideas. Examples of expository texts are found in number one, textbooks. Number two, encyclopedia. Three, atlases. Four, newspaper. Five, magazines. Six, biographies. Seven, journals. Expository texts are fact-based texts. They are non-fiction texts that provide information or details about a particular topic or subject matter. There are five ways in presenting an expository text. These are Number 1. Description Description presents characteristics, features, and examples to describe a subject or topic. Let's have an example. Butterflies are beautiful, flying insects with large scaly wings. Like all insects, they have six jointed legs, three body parts, a pair of antenna, compound eyes, and an exoskeleton. The three body parts are the head, thorax or the chest, and abdomen or the tail end. The butterfly's body is covered by tiny sensory hairs. So in this example, we use the element of description. Number two is sequence. Sequence presents items or events in numerical or chronological order. So, last second quarter, we had a topic about sequencing events. So, I know that you have an idea about sequence. Let's have an example. A frog goes through four stages of life. It changes and grows at each stage. Frogs lay eggs. That is where new frogs come from. The eggs hatch in one to three weeks. Then, a tadpole hatches from an egg. A tadpole lives in water. It uses gills to breathe. It has no legs. Next, a tadpole grows into a froglet. A froglet looks more like a frog. It has legs for hopping and walking. It has lungs for breathing air. An adult frog doesn't have a tail. A female lays eggs. And that is the sequence of a frog's life. Number three, comparison and contrast. Comparison and contrast explains how two or more things are alike or different. Let's look at this example. When you compare, you tell how things are alike or the same. When you contrast, 
you tell how things are different. So, let's look at this example. We have here in our diagram the bird and rabbit. So, we use compare and contrast in bird and rabbit. So, on the left circle, as you can see, we have the characteristics of the bird. On the right circle, we have the characteristics of the rabbit. So, let us read the characteristics of the bird first. Bird has feathers. It has beak. It has hidden ears. And birds can fly. While on the right side, we have the characteristics of the rabbit. A rabbit has fur, nose, long ears, and it can hop. So, those are the difference of the bird and rabbit. Let us look at the middle of these two circles in the diagram. So, in the middle, we have the comparison. These are the characteristics that are alike or the same in bird and rabbit. So, bird and rabbit are both pets. They are both animals. And they are both tame. So, here is the example of comparison and contrast using the Venn diagram. Number four is the cause and effect. It explains the causes and the results. Let's look at this example. When we say cause, it is the reason why something happened. When we say effect, it is the result of what happened. Signal words are used in cause and effect, like because, so, since, as a result, if, then, therefore, and due to. So, let us look at the illustration. The cause here is that girl water the plants. So, the effect of watering the plants is the flowers bloom. So, that is an example of cause and effect. Number five. Problem and solution. It states a problem and lists solutions for it. When we say problem, that it is the trouble that happens to a character in the story. When we say solution, it is how the problem is solved or faced in the story. So let's have some examples of problem and solution. The first problem is a tire goes flat. So the solution is put air in it. The second problem, the pencil breaks. So the solution, get a new one. The third problem, a bee stings. And the solution for it is put medicine on it. Now that you learned about expository text, let us try to answer the following activities. Let's try this. Identify what element of expository text is used in each item. Select your answers from the choices below. Number 1. There are no face-to-face -face classes in the country due to COVID-19 pandemic. What do you think is the element of expository text used in number 1? Is it A. Description B. Sequence C. Comparison and Contrast D. Cause and Effect or E. Problem and Solution Type now the letter of your answer in the comment box. And the correct answer is cause and effect. The cause here is due to COVID-19 pandemic. 
while the effect is there are no face-to-face -face classes in the country. So, if this is your answer, you are correct. Number two. In washing hands, you have to wet your hands first, then put a hand soap, rub your both hands, and rinse well. What do you think is the element used in number two? Is it A, description, B, sequence, C, comparison and contrast, D, cause and effect, or E, problem and solution? Type now your answer. So the answer is letter B, sequence. In this sentence, it shows how the proper way of hand washing. So if letter B is your answer, you are good. Number three, the carabao is the national animal of the Philippines. Hmm, what do you think is the element of expository text used in number three? Is it A, description? B, sequence, C, comparison and contrast, D, cause and effect, or E, problem and solution. Type now your answer. And this sentence shows description. In this sentence, we describe the carabao. Number four, Sarah Geronimo and Taylor Swift are both singers. Sarah is Filipino while Taylor is an American singer. What do you think is the element used in number four? Is it A, description, B, sequence, C, comparison and contrast, D, cause and effect, or E, problem and solution? Type now your answer. And the answer in number four is letter C, comparison and contrast. In this sentence, we compare and contrast Sarah Geronimo and Taylor Swift. So, in this sentence, they are both singers. And when we contrast them, we see that Sarah is Filipino while Taylor is an American singer. So, if this is your answer, comparison and contrast, you are correct. And number five, many Filipinos were affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. The government provided support fans to them. What do you think is the element here in number 5? Is it A. Description, B. Sequence, C. Comparison and Contrast, D. Cause and Effect, or E. Problem and Solution? Type now the letter of your answer in the comment box. And the answer is letter E, problem and solution. What is the problem in this sentence? Many Filipinos were affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. So the solution of the government is the government provided support fans to them. So if letter E is your answer, you are correct. Good job, kids! You really did well! So, let us proceed with our next activity. Let's try more. Read the text and answer the following questions. So, let us read and understand the text so that we can answer the following questions correctly. Here is the text. 
Erosion is the wearing away of the land by water, ice, or wind. Soil erosion is a natural process. It becomes a problem when human activity causes it to occur much faster than under natural conditions. Examples of human activities that causes erosion are the following. Construction of roads and buildings, logging, mining, and agricultural production. Wind and water are the main agents of soil erosion. So let us try to answer the following questions about the text. Number one, what is the text about? Is it A, soil, B, erosion, or C, weather? Type now the letter of your answer. And the correct answer is letter B, erosion. If this is your answer, very good. Number two, what is the meaning of erosion? A, erosion is the wearing away of the land by water, ice, or wind. B, erosion is the process of getting food for the plants with the help of sunlight. Or C, erosion is the process of water returning to earth. Hmm, what do you think is the meaning of erosion? Type now your answer. And the correct answer is letter A. Erosion is the wearing away of the land by water, ice, or wind. If this is your answer, you are good! Number 3. How does erosion become a problem? A. Erosion becomes a problem because of human activities. B. Erosion becomes a problem because of light. Or C. Erosion becomes a problem because of water cycle. What do you think is the correct answer in number 3? Type now your answer. And the correct answer is letter A. Erosion becomes a problem because of human activities. If this is your answer, well done! Number 4. The following are the agents of erosion except blank. So we are looking for the not agent of erosion. Is it A. Wind, B. Water, C. Trees? Type now your answer in the comment box. And the correct answer is letter C, trees. Trees are not agent of erosion. So, if this is your answer, you are correct. Number 5. Which of the following human activity causes soil erosion? Is it A, fishing, B, boating, or C, mining? Type now your answer. And the correct answer is letter C, mining. Mining is one of the human activities that cause soil erosion. So if this is your answer, you are correct. Very good kids! 
Now let us proceed with our next activity. Are you ready? Let's do it. You're going to read the text again and answer the following questions. So here is the text. It is entitled, Water Cycle. Do you know that water on Earth is being reused? The process of water moving around the Earth is water cycle. It is made up of three stages, evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Evaporation happens when the sun heats up the bodies of water, like sea, rivers, and lakes. It turns into water vapor and rises up into the air. When the water vapor rises, it turns into steam. From gas, it turns to liquid or water droplets that form clouds and this process is called condensation. Clouds contain millions of tiny droplets of water. Water keeps on condensing to form the clouds. Once the clouds become too heavy and the air cannot hold that much water, it returns to the earth as rain, or also called as precipitation. Now let us try to answer the following questions. Number one. The process of water moving around the earth is called black. Is it A, evaporation, B, condensation, or C, water cycle? Type now the letter of your answer in the comment box. And the answer is letter C, water cycle. The process of water moving around the earth is called water cycle. Number two, what are the three stages in the water cycle? Is it A, evaporation, condensation, precipitation? B, evaporate, condense, cycle? Or C, precipitation, water cycle, condensation? Type now the letter of your answer in the comment box. And the correct answer is letter A. The three stages in the water cycle are evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. If this is your answer, very good! Number 3. What takes place when the sun heats up the bodies of water? Hmm. Is it A. Evaporation, B. Condensation, or C. Precipitation? Type now your answer. And the answer is letter A, evaporation. If this is your answer, very good. Number four. The clouds are formed when blank happens. Hmm, what stage is this? Is it A, evaporation, B, condensation, or C, precipitation? Type now the letter of your answer in the comment box. And the correct answer is letter B, condensation. The clouds are formed when condensation happens. If this is your answer, very good. Number five. When water returns to earth as rain, the process is called blank. Is it A, evaporation, B, condensation, or C, precipitation? 
Type now your answer. And the correct answer is letter C, precipitation. When water returns to earth as rain, it is called precipitation. If this is your answer, well done! Good job, kids! You really did well! Remember, expository texts are fact-based texts. They are non-fiction texts that provide information or details about a particular topic or subject matter. Do you like our lesson today? I hope you learned a lot. You may now answer the activities in your module that your teacher will give. Here is our quote of the day from Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Again, I am Teacher Roan, your English 2 teacher. Till our next lesson, goodbye!